Hi there. Um, my name is Silvio and I lead strategic partnerships at Airbus Safran Launchers. Um, some time ago, we suggested you ask us questions about uh, the Iran launch vehicle uh, through our Twitter and Facebook accounts. And as a matter of fact, we got plenty of those. So thank you very, very much for the good questions. And now it's time to answer them. So a question from Alexis. Um, what about a reusable rocket like uh, SpaceX? Maybe for Ariane 7? Maybe. But a bit different from SpaceX. Thibault asks us, what choices have helped us design the current Ariane 6 configuration? So we had two main choices. Choice number one is to increase the production rate of the launch vehicle and of its parts in a way that we bring down the unit cost and increase the reliability. That concretely translates into two things. First of all, a versatile launch vehicle that is able to carry out a very diverse range of missions for which today we would use different rockets. The result is that we are launching this rocket more often and therefore we produce it more often. The second one is about the components. Um, we're going to standardize the design so that we reuse identical pieces as much as possible everywhere in the rocket. There again, each of these pieces is going to be to be produced more often. The second choice is to leverage as much as possible technologies that we and our industrial partners already master. This, of course, reduces risks, reduces investment, makes us go faster, increases reliability. Now, that doesn't mean there's no new stuff on Ariane 6. But when we do that, when we introduce new technology, it's not because it's cool, or maybe not just because it's cool, but it's because it adds value, reducing the cost, increasing the reliability. So the next question is, oh, from Peter. Hi there. Question, is there a hit to the Ariane 6 business model now that the P120 SRB, that stands for Solid Rocket Booster, production will now be split between Italy and Germany? There is preparatory work all the way to 2018 to be done by the concerned companies to make sure that on one hand the motor casings will be perfectly interchangeable in terms of performances, interfaces and quality and b that there's no impact on the RN6 competitiveness. So next question from Drive Club Bleak, Mr. or Miss. Um, when are we going to get real-time street view from an Ariane 6 launched satellite? I keep losing track of my cats. I've been losing track of my cats too. But that was before I bought a pet location device relying on satellite navigation. That should work for your cats too. Isn't space great? Mark is asking, with Ariane 6, Europe is abandoning man-rated technologies for cost considerations. Is it for good or not? We're not abandoning crude rockets, quite simply because we haven't got them today. If Europe decides to develop an autonomous capability to transport astronauts, we'd be delighted to serve that ambition. And I'd love to ride that rocket. Oh well, that's it for today. But we're not done yet, because there's still a question of yours to be answered. So, um, thanks again for the questions, and stay tuned. <laughs>